I'm wondering if some players are confused with the weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's like winter time out there. It's unbelievable, you know. So, I mean, probably a 30, 30 degree uh, change of temperature over the course of, you know, three days. Yeah. Wow. Um, Looks like you kind of eased back a little bit today. We saw some guys drop yesterday. Are you getting to that part of camp where guys are starting to wear? Well, we had 84 plays yesterday plus special teams, and and that was a, a really clean day of practice. And you know, we we it's more preventative. We've got some guys with some like tightness, and what I don't want to do is have soft tissue injuries a week before we you know, are able to evaluate them in a preseason game, you know, and a lot of teams are about ready to, you know, play their game. And so um, we've got our, you know, tomorrow will be a, a good solid work day. We'll work again on uh, Sunday. And then from there we'll be in a, in a game type mode where we've got to make sure that we get them to the game so we can evaluate them under the lights. That's kind of my goal. Nothing serious from the guys who went down yesterday? Uh. Well, Nothing serious, but enough to keep them out a day or two, you know. So, uh, and a lot of it's, uh, you know, we had a couple of rookies, and you know, it ha has to be probably fatigue. And so, uh, I, like I say, I'm trying to get them back in order to be able to evaluate them. I think the last two years, your first two years back, you played the first preseason game. This year, you get that that week yeah. off. You get to wait. You get to watch the Saskatchewan, I guess. That's which right. Is, which is kind of interesting on Monday, but that's right. A, a little different feel to it. And I guess that's where you guys are, are working harder and longer now. Yeah. Compared to years past. Yeah. I mean, uh, normally we would be getting ready for a game, like yeah. I say. I mean, and now I've got to be smart to not overwork them, but still be able to get uh, you know get the mental part of the the game to them. And that's what we did today. We've got uh, we had an extensive walkthrough out there in the cold, you know. So and and it's tough for them the first time that they you know it gets cold like that to concentrate for a long period of time. So we're uh, Aaron. We had a good lift, and uh, we're about to head up to the pool to do a, a pool workout. A couple of guys released today. Uh, I guess you're slowly starting to to whittle it down to to get to. Get to the numbers you need. You yeah, got a ways to go still. On you know, and unfortunately, I mean, the reality is, especially for the Americans, I mean, they get they nick, get nicked up, and you know, if they're injured, they can't be evaluated. So it's just part of the uh, CFL culture, you know. Yeah. How about being down another? I guess you will down your quarterback, uh, and we know who one is. But <laughs> yeah, you know, when it comes down to you know three, four, five, that sort of thing, and just more chances for for reps, I guess. Yeah, it, it gives. You know, more opportunities, and the more opportunities you get to see them, then uh, you, you're able to evaluate and kind of put them in a pecking order and that type of thing. But our first two guys, I mean, they're, you know, Trey had a really good day yesterday as well. So, I mean, and uh, w without question, I mean, McLeod had a, is having an excellent camp. So, those two guys have really separated themselves. I haven't talked much about Jared Diggy, and I've you really liked him last year. He's back this year. Yep. What do you see out of him in uh, his second CFL camp? Same thing as what I saw last year. You know, I mean, he's a he's a young Trevor. You know, a guy that knows where to go with the football and and uh, you know and fun to be around. He's you know his family are a bunch of coaches. So I mean, he's uh, he loves ball. Uh, tomorrow's fan day. Um, is that something the players and even yourself can look forward to? Because it's a bit of a change of pace and it's a, probably an energy that will be different in a vibe. Like it's going to be a, a very fun, exciting day tomorrow because fans are going to be loving to be up close to you guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, we had one of the scouts here that's uh, from New Jersey, and and he's been you know here in town for three or four days, and he was saying that man, these these fans are very educated, you know, about our football team, and he was kind of a little bit shocked, you know, that they were as educated as they were, and I, I told him I said it's a great sports town. And uh, we've got to continue to work to, to get things back to, you know, what they have been in the past. So on the list of events, it says scrimmage. So tell me what's going to happen tomorrow, what fans can expect. Well, I mean, it'll, it'll be more like, um, you know, like when we go cheetah, you know, we'll mm -hmm. go all special teams, you know, emphasis, heavy special teams emphasis so that we can get in and out of all of our special teams. Um, you know, we'll have A's on A's and B's on B's and, and uh, you know, I don't know if we'll have enough to go, you know, C on C group, but right. you know, we'll have a good solid, you know, thirty or forty play script, uh, which will be about a half, and uh, and then like I say, with special teams, so we'll be out there, a good, you know, a good solid hour, hour and a half, you know, and then and then, you know, basically do what we're supposed to do on fan day and let let the kids <laughs> go see the the fans, you know. Yeah, and you know, 
the energy that's going to be there tomorrow. And it's the end of week one of camp. Guys are grumpy and tired and <laughs> all that stuff. So yeah. can, you know, is that going to be nice for them to kind of get some, that in be in a nice environment and then get that ore and get that energy from, from fans that yeah. really want to see them? Well, I mean, again, we've got, you know, Edmonton's a great sports town, and when we we do have fan day, they, they turn out. The kids are, you know, they love to come and meet the players, and and the players. That's that's the name of the game. I mean, that's uh, when you look at you know around this stadium here, you see all the names, you know, the Gizmo Williams and Ricky Ray's and all. I mean, that's what the CFL is, you know. Yeah. Good. Stuff. Thank all you. right, Thank you. good, good to see y'all.